It's like the apocalypse is happening. But I had an idea. I had a brilliant idea. I had a brilliant, genius idea. If the world goes to shit, we should all have invaluable life skills. Most of which is learning how to hunt. Now, I know nothing about hunting, even though I was born and raised in Florida, and I am truly a redneck, and I hate living up to that. But just this once, I will harness my inner redneck to help you all through this. I have now harnessed my inner redneck, and with this great power I now possess, I will teach you all how to hunt. So are you ready to learn? Are you ready to hunt? Are you ready to learn how to cook the meat you procure? Well, neither am I, but we're doing it anyways. And to do that, we're gonna play The Hunter, Call of the Wild. This will be a good time to get in touch with our masculine side. Let's click new game, shall we? All right. Now, uh, I am a man, so I am not going to play a female character as I have a penis and I do not want to misrepresent my gender. So I'm going to play a male. Obviously not this male because this male requires DLC content. You can't play a white guy for free. Even Michael Jackson knew this. This white guy, however, you can. This African American, you can. This redneck. Hey, I'm a redneck. I'm born and raised in Florida. I know what guy I'm gonna play. All right. So I got my cellular Go phone. Ahead, look around. There's a lot to discover out here. Not just the big game. Let's see what you can do. Try to find an animal track around here. All right. I found poop. Does poop count as an animal track? I would like to think so. All right, now I'm hot on the trail of this deer. All right, I examined the track and the track is leading me this way. You can do the same in real life. You just gotta look at the track. And once you are looking at the track, you will know which direction the animal is going. I know this because I have watched enough of hunting shows on the Discovery Channel. And this has adequately prepared me to tell you all that I know nothing about hunting. Alright, I think I have found more poop. This is very fresh poop. Good to know. Now, where in Tarnation do we go from here? Ah! I have found me said deer. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Hard lung shots mean quicker kills. Less painful. I have found you. Do not run away from me. I need to now put you out of thine misery. Now I must be very cautious when approaching this deer. It's probably going to be very angry at me that I shot it. I think I saw him up front. Oh, were. I'm sneaking up on that Stay deer. Low when you're stuck in an animal to avoid being seen. Don't worry. I will follow this deer and I will show us how to get dinner and cook it. Nature is truly something to behold. It's so majestic, so beautiful, even in this video game. All the plants and birds and animals. Shame I'm going to have to kill them. And now I have successfully got us a deer. And now I will proceed with the gutting and the uh, cooking aspects of it. This is where everything gets interesting. Have to cook this 
this meat. Now, what we need to do right now is season this meat after we've beaten it a little. Take our salt and pepper right here. Now, we're going to salt and pepper our meat like so. And then, we're going to beat this meat nice and hard to make sure all that salt and pepper gets into the meat. Make sure to wipe up any goodness we have right there. Uh-huh, no problem. Then, what we need to do is we need to find our pan. There's my pan. Now, what I need to do is I need to put a little bit of oil into my pan. I have my oil right here. We're going to pour my oil right into this there pan. All right. Now, I should probably use my other hand for this, but I'm not. But I should. Because what we have to do now is make sure this pan is nice and hot. Now that our pan is hot, we want to put our meat into the pan. Make sure it gets nice and golden brown on the side we're cooking down face first first. And then, once that's done, we have our nice golden brown here, like I said. You want to poke it. These are medium rare. What if somebody wants theirs well done? We ask them to leave. Now, what, what, I have to stress this enough. What everything's said and done, we have to add our herbs and spices. Hey, just because I'm a poor redneck does not mean I don't know how to add flavor to things. A little bit of rosemary, a little bit of garlic, and some clarified butter I made earlier. Now, we wait for this to dissolve on top of the steak. is nice and greasy but I think grease is the wrong word I'm not a professional I just like food all right now what we got to do is we got to take all this fat and butter from around the edges there and pour it directly on top however this is quite difficult for me as I only have one hand as the other hand is indisposed holding my camera to show you the beauty of this there steak there we are. We have it. It's all nice and done. We have a golden brown medium rare steak with a potato that looks like it got hit by a shotgun blast. Now what we're going to do is add a little bit of herb butter that I made previously. You don't see the videos. I never should post cooking videos. But if you want to see more cooking videos, I'll post more cooking videos. But that's not important right now. Now that we have that, a little salt and pepper, maybe sour cream for that potato, and we're good to go. Later, everyone.